Hello and welcome to Other Half Gaming. I'm Dan and we're here today with our very first unboxing video. Uh, so today I thought we'd start with our unboxing of Dishonored 2. Um, so we're going to be covering Dishonored 2 on the channel. I thought we'd get the collector's edition. So shall we open it up and get a good look at it then, shall we? First of all, we'll take the big cardboard sleeve off. Uh, has wanted bits on the side for both of them, for both player characters that you can uh, play, and obviously a quick description of the game and what you get in the back. So just put that to one side. So how do we get into this in the back? Okay, first of all we get a poster. Uh, So along with the Empress, uh, which is the Empress from the previous game, Dishonored 1. So that's, oh, and there's a poster on the back, which is the um, your new enemy in the new Dishonored. Let's put that to one side. Okay, so, can't get the game out. It's a sat in the top, but it's pinched by the plastic, so let's try to get this out. Down there. Okay, so uh, oh, it comes out now. Okay, there's the game. Nice still book um, cover that they've recently been doing on a, on a few different special editions. I do like these still book cases. Um, I know Fallout 4 came in one. I do like them. They they're really nice. Um, kind of different sort of case to the usual, uh, well for Xbox, usual kind of green plastic case. Okay, so you get um, the Dishonored Definitive Edition, uh, which is the first game. Uh, so you get to try that out if you've not played Dishonored before you get this one. Um, you get the Imperial Assassin's Pack. I think you can buy it as a standalone, like uh, limited edition or special edition version of the game, which um, actually comes with uh, Duelist's Luck as a bone charm, um, which uh, bullet packs have an increased chance of uh, holding more, uh, or oh, sorry, holding one more bullet, which sounds pretty good. Um, and you also have one that is called Void Favor, uh, which supernatural powers have an increased chance of. Uh, consuming no mana is also a pretty good one. Also, a law book which is um, uh, Goodbye Kanaka. I think I'm saying that right. A, mu um, a, music a musician's farewell. I'll try to get that one out. Um, and you also get a antique guitar and 500 coins to use in the illegal black market. Uh, actually, I'll just put these back. So that's what comes in the game and obviously the disc okay so let's uh, crack the rest of this open then and have a quick look at um, the rest of it then the main bit of this uh, collector's edition so let's just get into this Okay, so the main thing, as you can see there, is Corvo's mask from Dishonored 1 and Dishonored 2. Looks pretty good. Obviously plasticky. Has a rubber red back into it. It looks like it has all the spot, um, like the... Um, Binocular, the uh, telescope sort of eyes that it all has in the in the game. I'm not sure you're going to be able to. Well, I know with the Pip Boy, a lot of people used it for a prop for cosplay. Don't think you're going to be able to use this for cosplay unless you have a particularly small head. Maybe a child could, if you would trust your child with such a prop. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks quite good. 
it feels it does flex a little bit but feels quite substantial I wouldn't want to test it too much more but it seems quite substantial so let's just um, set up the stand you get for it and let's see A little bit tight, but it uh, goes on nicely, sits on there fine. A little bit of wobble, but seems to be all right. Very set of instructions, very straightforward. What else we got? This should be yep, and this is the ring from the game. So um, as Corvo is recognised by the mask, the ring is obviously meant to be Emily's defining object. So uh, there you go, actually comes out. Pretty small ring actually. Well I can only get that far on my little finger. But it's pretty good. It's quite small so I might have to bring it up to the camera a little bit. It does actually feel pretty, pretty, um, pretty strong. Um, I wouldn't want to actually use it. I don't know how long it would last. I think it's metal. Feels pretty heavy. It does. It feels too heavy to be plastic. Well, I'm pretty happy with this uh, collector's edition, to be honest. Um, it's, you know, f well, for a collector's edition, apparently there's been a couple of games companies recently that have sold collector's editions with no game. So the fact that this did, you know, in the UK this is $79.99. And if you were to have to buy the game separate, you would in fact end up be paying, uh, was it, about, about £120. So £80, good as, you know, it's good price. I, I like it. You get a bit of memorabilia for both Corvo and uh, Emily. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, yeah, the mask is plastic, but at the end of the day, it feels substantial. It doesn't feel like it's just going to break, though I'm sure if you really try, you will break it. Um, it's got really good detail in it. Both bits have. The ring has really good details on the signet ring. It is really good. I, I love it. It is a really good collector's edition. So if, if you have the spare cash and you're in a game store that has some left, that's, you know, if you're in the UK, it's game. Um, I'm not sure who in the US uh, stock these uh, collector's editions. You'd have to look into that yourself. Uh, but you know, if you've got, if you find one and you've got the cash, pick it up. You know, well, hopefully, you've seen enough in this video that you you either know if you like this collector's edition or don't. So in about an hour, we'll be uh, uploading the first part of our Dishonored 2 walkthrough. So uh, in that, I will be playing as Emily, being the newest player character that you can you can play as in the game. Uh, I will also be trying my best to do a no-kill walkthrough. I'll try my best, because if it's anything like Dishonored 1, I know that I'm going to be inclined to go, Oh, you see me? Stab, stab, stab! Now let's go hide. But... I can only try. I will try my best to do a low chaos walkthrough and afterwards I may do another walkthrough in Dishonored 2 as Corvo in probably a high chaos. But I'll get the low chaos out first as Emily and then I'll do the other one if I'm going to. So I'll see you then at 8 o'clock for that. 
But I hope you like this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you soon with more Dishonored 2. Bye.